Today's video is going to be about an amazing activity that you can do with your close friends over the holidays that will have so many positive impacts on your life and doesn't cost anything and it's good for the environment and um, I feel like there was one other thing. Oh, helps declutter your home and it's a lot of fun. So um, if you stay tuned then you'll hear more about that. So I can't wait to share that with you. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit the subscribe red button below. I would love for you to stay connected to me. I record videos every week and my name is Rachel Stravelli and I record videos that help empower you, help you connect to your inner self, tap into your intuition, connect to um, all the power and amazing aspects of you. And since I recognize we are spiritual beings, but we're living in a human body and a physical world, some of my videos are more of the physical world nature of things. And that's just because, hey, I mean, I'm a human too. So these are some of the great things that have added a lot to my life, but that also align with my values um, because I'm a big... Uh, conservationist, conservationist. I, I care for the earth. Um, I help nurture the earth. I care for my communities. I want to help people as much as I can. I don't want to create waste and more producing of consumption of products that we don't need. So my book club, I have talked about them before. We have a, um, a clothing swap we do about once or twice a year and I'll link to that video in here but one thing that we do once a year in the holiday season in the month of December is we do a gift exchange and one of the book club members calls it the hook a sister up swap so what we do is starting about this time of year um, you know sometime in the fall or sometimes people in the book club wait until the very end. So maybe some people wait until December, but I always start around this time of year, September, or October. We start looking around our home for things that are nice, good quality, not broken, that for one reason or another, we're just not using. Um, and I start putting them in a bag or a box in my closet. And I collect things that range from mm, box of tea that someone gave me that mm, wasn't really my style but it's good quality tea or earrings that I have that I just realize I never wear anymore um, a scarf that someone gave me that I don't wear or a scarf that I realize I haven't worn in two years it could be a basket it could be a CD we collect all of the things and then put them in a basket or a bag and then we all get together for a swap and so here's how it works at the swap in case you want to do your own, which I highly recommend. So some people do a white elephant where um, you draw numbers and everyone picks the thing and then you, um, you, you get your gift item and all that. But sometimes they're gag gifts and sometimes there are things that you don't want. In our book club, the reason it's a hook a sister up is we never include things that we don't want. They are only things that you want. And if you are a baker or a crafter, sometimes people put crafted items in there. If you have cleaned out your home or you don't have any time to, um, to clean out your home and you, or you look around your home and you're like, I have one candle that was never lit and that's all I can bring. Well, then you can pop to your local craft show or um, place that sells maybe local goods. And one year, one of my friends in the book club, her item was homemade soap from a goat farm and a candle and I think a nice bar of chocolate and one other thing. Um, we don't have a set amount of like how much it has to cost because these are just items from our homes. And so we all get together, we count how many people are there, we draw, we write down numbers and we put them in a bowl. Everyone draws a number. So number one goes first. They pick up the bag or the box, unwrap it. We look at all the items, we pass it around, we ooh and ah. It's really exciting um, and that's great. Then number two gets to go. They can either select number one's basket or select another thing from the um, from the pile of gifts. 
then number three goes. Number three can either select from number two, select from number one, or select from the thing that is there. If number three takes number two's gift, then number two gets to go back to the pile and pick another gift and open it. Now, some people don't get this complicated, and in my group, what we have determined, because otherwise the night could go on forever, uh, especially because, like I said, as it's being opened, we're passing all the items around, we're sharing, we're laughing, we're talking, and that in itself takes time. It's not like we just open it and hold it up. Like, no, we pass it around. Um, so in order to make sure that it doesn't go on all night, you can only, quote unquote, steal the item the, like number three can only steal that basket that was number two. That basket can only be stolen um, up to three times. So on the third time, it's considered like dead or cold or whatever you want to call it, and it cannot be stolen again. So it keeps on going down the line, and then when you get to the last person, you know, they get the last thing that's there, or they take from someone else. Um, and then at the very end, number one, because they were the first person to go, they get to choose again. So, or they get to say, no, I'm going to keep what I have. And, um, you're definitely welcome if you do your own. If you don't want to do the whole trading, stealing thing, you can just pick numbers and let people decide what they will. What my book club also does is at the end, when it's all done, inevitably, some people got some things in their gift basket or bag that they just know they never are going to use. Um, because like when I pack my thing, it probably has somewhere between 10 and 15 items in it. Well, let's say I give some fancy chopsticks to somebody who never used chopsticks. At the end, we set out on a table or on the floor items that we know we're never going to use, or there's no one that we can give them to for the holidays. And then those items, that's kind of a free for all. Anybody can take them. And, um, it um, inevitably there's usually or somebody might say oh I really really want that thing and just go ahead and give something to someone else in the group you know so they're you're welcome to do a little bit of trading or however you want to work it out but one of the things that I love about this is as I'm sure you're aware especially in America the holidays can get really focused on consumerism and the things and one of the things that I love about what my book club has created is Yes, we're trading things and we're sharing things, but typically no one is going out and buying these things. These are things we already have in our home that we're kind of just taking away from our homes, giving to somebody else. The The person who gets the gift is like thrilled to get this totally unique combination of things that you would never think to get. Like one year somebody gave away a hammock, um, amongst other things. One year there were... Um, lingerie I think I got a really fancy sequin dress one year amongst other things so I mean it could be a whole arrangement of things last year I remember meatball seasoning and love coupons were in my uh package my gift but what it really does is like it just keeps us focused on the connection and the community and the laughter and the good times and that's what I remember like I don't always remember like oh I got knitting blah, blah, blah. Um, although I did get that one year, knitting supplies and yarn. More what I remember are like the fun times that we had and the laughter. And it's beautiful because even though a lot of people in the book club are in financially stable or prosperous situations, they're not having to spend a lot of money. Like it's not about the stuff. It's about us all connecting and having a great time. And, um, and it's beautiful. So I would love to hear in the comments below if you have ideas for how you would like to do this or if you do something similar that you think is also really inspiring. Um, it would be really great to hear about other, other people who are doing fun gatherings. So um, thank you so much for watching to the end. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and click the red button to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.